We've had some amazing achievements. One thing I felt that was overwhelming, a lot of the guys that we selected actually made work especially once they came to Cockington. Still very heartwarming to me. In uh, 2015, I got to know Marissa, um, approached her about having a show here and um, I put my own work in a, a solo exhibition here to begin with. I realised through chatting to Marissa that we both had a shared vision really for an open exhibition for other artists. We just sat there at the front of the house on a picnic table and just went let's go for it. We actually did our first one in 2017 and then 18 and here we are. It was my responsibility to bring in people I knew and invite artists. We planned to be 10 artists and we ended up with 17 artists exhibiting. In the next Next year of 2018, try and aim for 18 artists, reflecting the years that we would see if we could get in more sculptures from each artist. We're now on to 2019, we've got 19 artists. It's always been the wish to create a trail rather than just a controlled exhibition. We want to make use of the court and the way that the studios are spread out. We'll place things around the sea change, around the stable yard studios as well. Well, we're, again, we're overwhelmed with people making specific, you know, work, which is they're all beavering away. It's a bit nerve-wracking for me and Phil because we're trying to make things as well. I've been specialised in kinetic sculpture, so it's always got an element of movement to the work. I always want that interaction with with the viewer. I quite like using redundant things from the past. I wanted to also carry on the theme of balls and spheres and wanted to create really what I call an imaginary solar system. These are actually made from disc brake rotors uh, on bicycles and this is going to be one abstract planet. So each one's going to be fastened on, on top of drill like this and then on a pole into the ground. I'm really, really excited with Helen Bacon, who's a lady from New Zealand, and she's going to create an installation in the kitchen gallery, and that's going to be like caravans and things like that you can walk into and interact with, and you know, that's going to be really, really family friendly, and create a sculpture in the garden, which is like a sun goddess. It's going to be a litter bin, which is incredible, which is like when people used to say, like, art is rubbish, so it's like taking it literally. Every year we've tried to keep the style of work and the the ideas behind it varied but we've also brought in very contemporary or even conceptual work so there's something for, for all visitors here. There's pieces like that that will be conversation pieces as well as fun family pieces and you know to break down barriers and then really serious pieces we've got great big stone carvings and you know some amazing architectural pieces as well.